Uh, my first instinct was to open Instagram, which I did, but I remembered I'm not supposed to, so I immediately X'd out, closed the app, and opened this camera, so that's the start, but I'm gonna sleep more. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I was inspired to do a little bit of a social media detox. As you guys saw from earlier this morning, I did a quick little update as soon as I woke up. I just find myself wasting so much time scrolling through Instagram, looking at people's stories, scrolling through any type of feed I can possibly scroll through just to keep my mind occupied and it really distracts me. It also keeps me from sleeping earlier at night because you know once you open up your phone in bed then you're just stuck on it for hours and you end up sleeping much later than you had anticipated so I will be spending all of today and all of tomorrow just completely free of any type of social media I remember a while ago years back I deleted social media for 21 days if I could do that I could do this we'll see how this 40 hour detox goes really want to introduce you guys to this new addition I've added to my supplement routine. This is the Ritual Essential for Women Multivitamin and this is actually really cool and let me explain why. And thank you so much Ritual for sponsoring today's video. The look of the capsules themselves caught my eye at first. Stomach acid can affect minerals and vitamins. They designed this to dissolve in your small intestine where it's ideal for nutrient absorption. That also means you can take the supplement at any time, whether you have food with it or not. And the bottle is really cute because they have like day one, day 15, day 30. So I'm about halfway in and it's really minty. So I love that. Every single ingredient, source, and manufacturer that they use and work with are 100% traceable. So there's nothing shady going on. No shady additives, no fillers. Everything is vetted. Ritual is subscription-based. They have a range of different products including the same multivitamins for men and if you guys want you can get 10% off your first three months using my code Freesia. I know it's been a while since I've had any sort of apartment updates Actually, that's a damn lie. I just got a dining table. What am I saying? <laughs> but the dining table reignited my drive to you know, do some home improvement. I finally mounted my TV. The living room is looking 10 times better. I don't have any of the tools. I don't have a power drill. I don't have a stud finder, nor do I have the patience. <laughs> so I hired a task rabbit to quickly install this TV. I've just been leaving it off for the longest time and I was like, Frija, it's time to get your life together. Don't know why it took me this long. got a 360 swivel mount by the way so whenever I want to eat on the table over there I can just pull it forward and swivel it and 
I can watch TV while I'm eating, guys. It's just so amazing. I just really love spending time in here now. People are gonna ask about the wires because you can see that I don't have any wires showing. I know this is not gonna be the answer you wanna hear, but I just got lucky to have a building that puts outlets up high. That is the only reason why I was able to conceal it. Like I just tied it up with all the cable ties right there. So yeah. Sorry. The same day that I had my TV mounted, I also went out and got a new plant baby because I wanted to decorate my credenza. I don't know what to get. I really want a rubber plant. So here she is. I decided to name her Ruby. And then for the rest of the decor, I just used what I already had. I have some pretty design-centric magazines here, two cereal mags, one really old Hypebeast bag, and then I just have my Palo Santo and Sage. This is the Jo Malone Lime Basil and Mandarin, their most popular scent. This stuff is strong and it really lasts long. Like I've been living here for five months now, crazy. But I got this literally like the first week that I moved here and it's just still going. Every time someone walks into my apartment, that's the first thing they notice, the smell of this diffuser. And then over here I have more coffee table books that were actually on my coffee table. I think it just looks better up here. This is the Kim Folk entrepreneur book and the New York guide and then I just topped it off with an old diptyque candle that was gifted to me by my friend I also already know that I'm gonna get a lot of questions about this credenza this is from Target it also has black caning I originally wanted something with wood caning so that it could be like black frame with a contrast but this is all they had and nothing with that caning was within my budget so that's why I got this it's 2 p.m. now and I usually take a little break around around the afternoon time. When I do, I plop down on my bed and usually scroll through my feed and catch up on what other people are doing. But since I can't do that right now, I'm like, whoa, this is one of those moments where I'm just like so dependent on my phone. Oh, got a text. I wonder if people have been DMing me and wondering why I'm not responding because I'm not even checking to see if that's happening. One of the biggest things I also check is YouTube Studio for content creators and it tells you all of the analytics of every video that you've ever posted. And on the main page, they usually highlight the performance of your latest video and that is just so toxic and it just shows all of the comments that come in. I think that's what I needed the biggest break from, YouTube Studio. As someone who depends on YouTube for a living, it's kind of making me super anxious. One of my new weekly goals is to walk or run for at least 30 minutes a day. Walking on the treadmill is so boring for me. So I'm actually gonna take an hour long walk outside. Let's get out of here. I've been walking for about two hours now. I was spending a lot of time looking at stores because I came across a Malin and Getz store and my boyfriend is obsessed with Malin and Getz so decided to get him a little something. This is a just because gift. This walk is really nice. Finished two podcasts. The last podcast I was listening to is Jay Shetty's On Purpose. And the episode was six ways successful people spend their time. And it was a good reminder. So definitely recommend it. We are now more than halfway into this social media cleanse. I haven't been reaching for my phone at all. I think it's because once I know that this is off limits, I just remove it from my consciousness and I don't even think about it. Last night I was over my boyfriend's and that's distraction enough and I don't really use my phone too much when we're together. The only times I really reach for my phone is before bed, when I wake up, and in the bathroom. I feel like 
not being on social media makes me a lot more productive. Because in normal situations where I would fill my time by checking my phone out of habit and end up deep into a feed an hour later, that time was spent with a two hour walk yesterday, you know? I don't know, I feel like this is a really good exercise that you guys should try. style not exactly lob so don't get mad at me for not using the rice powder start with the little one cheers guys mmm delicious I've been obsessed with insecure and I'm already on season four the episodes are like 30 minutes long so it's a really nice thing to pop on while you're eating I know I look like a bird. Another update, it is almost a full 48 hours in. It's 8.43 right now and I've been here for almost 10 hours. Editing away, putting this video together, which I guess is a good thing because I haven't even thought of opening up my phone to be honest. I'm already kind of adjusted to not looking at it. Okay, wait, listen to this ASMR. What was that? <laughs> of course it was Diet Coke. What else? <laughs> it's too from the Diet Coke. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bad influence. It is 2 a.m. now, but when I wake up tomorrow morning, that will be the end of my social media fast. Would I do this again? 100%, but I would probably do it for a longer period of time, which is a little difficult when your job is to be on social media, but the, I do wanna do this for like a week or something because I enjoy it. I think I'm more productive. I think the key takeaway for me is recognizing the pattern of when I reach for the phone, when it becomes muscle memory, that's what I want to eliminate. But yeah, I think that is all for this week i will be going to joshua tree tomorrow so the airbnb we got is super cute make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you guys in the next one and every time